Dick Rickles here. <laughs> Yes. Are people who own swords cool? No. <laughs> <laughs> what a champ, though. It's, it's a, a bridge. It's, yeah, it's, it's a half It's a, it's built a dock, bridge. actually. The 1940s in Nazi Germany. Oh my god. <laughs> Now let's just pause it right there for a moment. The man driving that black Ford F-150 truck is Paul Anderson with Police the Orange tube, County by the way. Sheriff's Office. Jeremy's Check gonna hop out. on his bike and catch up to him and do his little road rage thing. I got a black F-150, black F-150, get it. Just to reconfirm, Gledhaven, correct? That's what I thought. Thank you for watching Police Tube. This is never before seen Jeremy DeWitt body camera footage. This is something they're not allowed to do. I already paused it. Running this is something they're not allowed to do right here. Black Ford which is F that they're not allowed to. Uh, who inside that truck? They're not allowed to go out into the middle of the intersection and like stop traffic from going forward. Like maybe here they are at the funeral home. They're allowed to, but I kind of doubt it. Because he's been told before, like, hey, you can't do that. That I'm going to be releasing later on. Make sure you're subscribed. Also, if you like seeing Jeremy DeWitt videos, especially original content like this, hit the like button and comment down below. Yeah, the problem is, is I do like watching Jeremy yet, DeWitt videos. Just now, right? Because they're going to go around. Okay, because they're going to go around that bend, and there's a traffic light. But yeah, hold that, Kenny, because there's some gaps here. Oh, will you calm down? This is not that critical. I don't know that you can do that either, dude. Arrogant fuck. Last two vehicles, <laughs> it's very Toyota. funny to hear Jeremy uh, call somebody else an arrogant my, uh, fuck. Mazda SUV, silver in color. Like, he takes this so seriously for what it is, you know? Like, uh, you should take your job seriously, but to this degree feels excessive. It sort of, uh, it sort of reminds me of my friends that when we worked at um, a warehouse loading trucks, they, they were so, so into it. And they, and they came up with terminology and stuff that was unnecessary. They came up with like code words and shit, hand signals. And I'm just like, this is not that critical, okay? I know we're supposed to move fast, but like you're taking this too, too, you're, you're being too melodramatic about it. I don't know that they're allowed to do this either. Because he's been told more than a few times, like, you're not allowed to obstruct traffic. This is a red light, so maybe... Maybe it's cool. And all of this video of Jeremy breaking the law is from his own helmet cam that he puts on his own website. Or that he put on his own website. But this this might actually just be evidence. The I don't know that you're allowed to do this either, dude. You let's go. Directing you, traffic. Let's go. This all seems suspect. Because it's just funeral escort, you know? 
This is just funeral escort. This isn't an emergency service. It's like it's the they're allowed to have people that escort the funeral. But to this degree is where I start to question things. Get out of the way now, asshole! I got a black F-150! Black F-150, get Jeez. out now! He, he took that to way too seriously. Like, he was ready to get run over by that car to make sure it doesn't keep going through his funeral. Last vehicle's 97, motor one's moving. I wonder if uh, they'll escort Jeremy's funeral with this much gusto. Let me full screen this. Boom. Alright. This video isn't too loud for anybody, right? Do something illegal in front of a police officer, Jer. Cut off. That's last. I don't know what happened. Do we have everyone? That's everyone. Can he move? Oh, there's one. What? But see, he'll also, in other videos, be like, you can't. Um, what's it called? In other videos, he'll warn his other officers that the police are coming. Like, mind your P's and Q's. Um, this department has been informed that we're on the way, or that we're running through this town. Because on these local roads, he'll go 110 miles an hour, you know? That ain't cool. Messing with his phone. Amidst. I've just never seen somebody who tries to pretend to hold this much professionalism also behave so unprofessionally. And if this is the video that I think it, I don't think this is the exact video that led to another incident, like that led to him getting pulled over and almost arrested. Right now we're coming up to, uh, but um, on, on, one of these uh, videos was him. I think that's what happened, dude. Pretty sure he was just trying to inform you that you're doing illegal stuff. And then you tried to, like, block him from being in the funeral. Like, you shouldn't cut into a funeral escort, but it's not a felony or something worth jumping in front of a moving car for. Because I don't know how most counties would handle this but if you were caught just standing in the middle of an intersection and then you got hit I don't know that that would fully be the other person's fault I think that would be a little bit on you to a degree standing in the middle of the road like I just can't like there's a reason why like jaywalking is a ticketable offense is because like if you run out into the middle of the road it's kind of hard to blame somebody else for your for you running out into the middle of the road. Driving a black Ford Raptor, a white gentleman, but he definitely showed a badge and said he was cop. Uh, but I need to meet with a deputy. 
He made a right off of uh, Hal Branch. So I, he made. I don't know what street he turned off by the fire station on Hal Branch. <laughs> I don't think my mom understands how gifts work or reaction gifts work. We'll have the tag on our body camera. All of our officers are wearing body cameras. We'll have the video for proof once we get once we get a chance to sit tight for a few seconds. Video proof of you breaking the law be, or at least I'm not going to pretend to understand the law behind funeral escorts, okay? But I am saying that we've watched several videos now where he's told what he is and isn't allowed to do. And this is everything he's not allowed to do. Okay, he's not allowed to hold two lanes for the escort. He's not allowed to stop in the middle of intersections and direct traffic. He's not allowed to lead these people through red lights. One day I'll have to look up the individual laws so that I can see just how much, like, how much bullshit this is. But as far as I know... He's not allowed to be doing any of this stuff, so when he says, like... When he says... I don't mean to trail off, I'm just also trying to hear what he's saying. Even though it's kind of bullshit. <laughs> Thank you. Funeral procession right of way and liability. Okay. Two or more vehicles accompanying the body of a deceased person. Two or more. Okay. Traveling to the church, chapel, or other location at a funeral service to be held in the daylight hours, including a funeral-led vehicle or funeral escort vehicle. Any authorized law enforcement or non-law enforcement motor vehicle or properly equipped pursuant to subsection 2 or a funeral escort vehicle being used to lead and facilitate the movement of a funeral procession. Funeral hearse may serve as a funeral lead vehicle. Funeral escort means a person or entity that provides escort services for funeral processions. Okay, equipment. All non-law enforcement funeral escort vehicles and funeral-led vehicles shall be equipped with at least one lighted circulation lamp exhibiting an amber or purple light or lens under normal atmospheric conditions for a distance of 500 feet. That's one thing that he gets shit for is because... There is is that he doesn't use amber lights, he uses red lights. And they don't care if like the lens is amber, it's how the lens looks after it's been illuminated. Because if if the lens itself is like a is an orange color that's too dark, it can just be red. Any law enforcement vehicle is a red, blue or amber flashing light meet the criteria established in paragraph A. Right of way, regardless of any traffic control device or right of way provisions provided, prescribed by state or local ordinance, pedestrians and operators of all vehicles except in state and prairie shall yield the right of way of any vehicle which is part of a funeral procession being led by a funeral escort vehicle or a funeral led vehicle. You care when participating in a funeral procession. I assume that doesn't mean flying down the road. You're looking for section three. Funeral procession right of way. Funerals, regardless of traffic control devices, subject to the following conditions and exceptions, operator of vehicles in a funeral procession shall yield the right of way to an approaching emergency vehicle. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Right of way when, when directed to do so by a police officer. The procession must exercise due care when participating in a vehicle. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, I guess it doesn't say anything, though, about them directing traffic directly like i'm it, that's the thing is that this this all seems very cut and dry and if he uh, and if he followed these rules it would probably be different but the fact that it says stuff that like must exercise due care yields the right of way when directed to do so by a police officer like all of those things are stuff that he doesn't really do because, like, the do care part is the part that sticks out to me because, like, stopping in the middle of an intersection, directing traffic around your own funeral escort, ru running through the red lights seems 
dubious, to say the least. It seems like something that he'd be allowed to do, but almost not. I think the problem with him is that, or the problem that he gets from these police officers is the fact that his, like, these processions are really long, you know? And it's not like it goes on some, like, long stretch of road where there's no lights. It's just a super long local road with a bunch of lights and pedestrians on it. I don't... Non-criminal traffic infraction. Yeah, it seems... It seems like part of the time he's in these rule, he's within the realm of these rules, and then other times have the right of way, regardless of traffic control devices. That makes sense, but I don't know that he's allowed to stop in the middle of the intersection. Like he's probably allowed to ride alongside of him, so that like people know, but. I don't know that he's allowed to step off of his bike and, like, stand in the middle of the intersection. Because, well, yeah, if he's allowed to do that, I mean, a lot of the stuff that he gets in trouble for is because his stuff looks way too police-ish. And when he's asked, like, hey, are you guys trying to impersonate police officers? They say no. and that should probably be the end of it, if we're being honest, like from a civilian standpoint. But it's the behavior of this person. Like, it's the fact that he's such an <laughs> asshole that it makes it easy. It makes it easier to be on, on, a, on a different side other than his, especially when he's doing things that don't necessarily seem to exhibit due care. I don't know. What do you guys think? Because like, the rules, the, these rules that, um, that my friend here put in the chat from FloridaSenate.gov, like, that seem, he seems to be operating within those. So I can't really give him shit about that. It's the flying down the road at 110 miles an hour. It's the it's like hitting people's cars to get them out of the funeral escort. It's, or out of the funeral procession. Like, that all seems like he's not allowed to do that. Maybe he is allowed to, maybe he is, like, maybe this does mean he is allowed to direct traffic. But uh, I think it has to do with the way he's conducting himself, you know? More so than whether or not he's actually breaking rules. Let's see if he runs into that cop anymore. He's telling me through the window, you're trying to create ag assault. And I'm like, how the fuck am I? And you heard me say, I'm like, how am I fucking creating ag So then that, that makes me wonder then if he's like being told at that moment, like, hey, cut it out by a police officer. Is that enough? Because it says in the, in the thing, it says in that list that he has, that if he's told to yield the right of way to a police, by a police officer, if he's told to yield the right of way to a police officer, that he's got to. And, you know, that's just another rule where it's like the whole rule is basically like, hey, you have rights. You can totally do whatever you want in this case. But if a cop tells you to stop, don't even question it. Just stop. Which isn't unsound advice, but um, feels like you could make a slippery slope argument there. Okay, so here's another one where it's Jeremy purposefully hits purposely hits an off-duty lieutenant. And this is also police tube. What's your problem? He looked at me and waved me on. Sit tight. Yeah, no shit. Okay, this guy right here yeah. is a local hero in my book. He's like, no shit, Jeremy. You know, give that man a medal. Jeremy. Stop! Okay, you guys saw that, right? Jeremy purposely took his motorcycle and ran it was it the motorcycle because he says it's his foot so. Stop! 
Yeah, I don't see how that the could be his foot. That, right? Jeremy purposely took his motorcycle and ran it into this. Like, what do you guys think? You think if if uh, he's just doing this stuff where he's just directing traffic, because that you think that's fine? Because I I don't know. I feel like he's still being pretty reckless. You know. Black minivan. Let's go ahead and rewind that and watch that again. You see that right there? Jeremy is purposely doing that with his front tire, the minivan. Now, let's watch how he explains it. You, you okay? No, I hit my foot on your car because you fucking wouldn't stop. Let's go ahead and pause it right there for a moment. That man in the black minivan is an off-duty lieutenant with, I believe, the Orlando Police Department. Jeremy's always wanted a lieutenant, and here he's got one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, for those of you who don't understand why I'm laughing at that, that's a reference to um, another to another video where Jeremy was um, on was on the I four, like he was on an overpass in the I four, and he was kind of you know kind of getting arrested, and he um, just like was over and over and over and over again. Where is you, Lieutenant? Where is your lieutenant? Where is your lieutenant? Like, just barking at this guy. Now pause it right there again, because what Jeremy is doing now is getting on the radio and reporting to his other crew members the falsified story that that minivan hit Jeremy. When we all saw that Jeremy purposely just ran his motorcycle in yeah. that minivan. And lied about it to the. And you even said you hit him. Trying to file a false image in the minds of his men. That way, if anybody ever has to ask them later, they will think back and they'll remember that Jeremy said that that man ran into him, and that that is the story that'll go on the report. It'll cast doubt in the minds of investigators uh, based on the difference between Jeremy's story and the man in the minivan. Just so you guys know, and I said, I, I don't have time for that. That fucking guy in the black minivan. Yeah, there's no damage. I mostly was my leg. Okay, so now that you've seen the play-by-play -play breakdown, let me go ahead and rewind the whole film, and we'll watch the entire thing in full without any commercial interruptions. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's your problem? He looked at me and waved me on. Sit tight. Yeah, no shit. Go, Dylan. Hey! <laughs> what are you fucking doing? Yeah, I don't know that all this is allowed. Like, this feels like less than due care. I would have stopped and gotten him, like, I would have stopped yeah, and gotten uh, insurance information or some shit. You okay there? You okay? No, I hit my foot on your car because you fucking wouldn't stop. Is this guy not going to even get a license plate number? I guess I would be pretty stunned, too. Just some guy that looks like a cop came up and hit my car. Just so you guys know, and I said, I, I don't have time for that. That fucking guy in the black minivan. That was bullshit. I mean, if he hit yeah. you, why wouldn't you stop then and get his and get his insurance information? So that's it for this short video. I appreciate you watching. If you're wondering what came of this, well, I'm sure you know nothing came of. Hey, what's your problem? He looked at me and waved me on. Sit tight. Yeah, no shit. Go, Dylan. Hey. Yeah, that guy might think he's a cop, and just be like, yeah, he waved me on. I don't understand what you guys are flipping a shit about.